folks, I have to once again defend myself against the spurious claims from McDonald Mac Gar Captain Watanabe gave me her cell number when she finally decided to trust me. She's risking a lot. If Captain Watanabe gave me her cell number when she finally decided to trust me. She's risking a lot. If anyone finds out she's helping me, she'll lose her job. That car crash looks bad. Hope no one's injured. Carl crushed that pedestrian if I don't do something. I've got you! Hey, Spider-Man! It was a bunch of guys tried to rob a store. The must have been hopped up. Caused the whole wreck. Whoever caused this wreck is nearby. You need to find and stop them. I'm losing them! Gotta catch up! I think you forgot to give people your insurance info back there! Here's your stuff! for a chase in progress. Please respond. Any officers in Nomad, please respond. Okay, you are not getting five stars. We've got to shut this down before someone gets hurt. they call organized crime.
Gotta give that real man props. Manhattan rush hour is no joke. I got him. Fisk beat the hell out of me with these. I almost used them for evidence until MJ pointed out I was trespassing, so I'd probably end up in jail. Typical Parker luck. thesis paper on neurotechnology. This got me the job with Dr. Octavius. Nice. Muggers never take a day off. Oh, it is on. This piece of the Shocker's original uniform showed me how to protect myself from his blasts. Of course, they always upgrade, don't they? Guess how I feel about bullets. I realize the irony in me saying this. 
I hope you've learned not to hit people. Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack. Mr. Lee's usually in his office now. Ugh, coffee's terrible, but it's free. Pete, good to see you. I never used to feel safe at the other shelter. Peter, what can I do for you? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane, she's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where'd she find it? I'm really not sure. Why, what is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? I don't know. Why take the risk? Hey. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. Well, that went about as well as I could have hoped. Got some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little spidey.
work out in the city. spoke to me he seemed worried are you into something dangerous oh it's just a story mary jane's investigating don't worry i'll make sure she's careful please tell me you two are back together we're talking again baby steps i hope i didn't upset mr lee he's just concerned i was actually touched by how concerned i knew he liked you he admires how dedicated you are to helping others I think you remind him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration's mutual. You've got a good boss, man. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter. Hello? Peter, it's Dr. Octavius. Oh, hey, what's up? Lance Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I mean, I, I didn't forget, forget. I just, I, I'll be there soon. <sighs> His tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker. You're better than me. <sighs> He's right. I could never give this prototype spider tracer enough range to be useful. But I did adapt the tech into my web traps, which really come in handy. MJ and I applied for this lease, I thought we'd move in together. Instead, we broke up. I can be pretty oblivious sometimes. if I do say so myself. Killed me until I broke this chip off his horn and figured out what his costume's made of. 
Still wasn't easy to beat him. My back's... The menu... Rhino almost killed me until I broke this chip off his horn and figured out what his costume's made of. Still wasn't easy to beat him. My back still aches just thinking about it. How does it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Yes! <laughs> hey! Hey! What do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But, but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work in a secure environment. At Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. They, they, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. 
I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. Do something to help Doc. Maybe call Harry. Ask him to talk to his dad. No. Norman never listens to Harry. He even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Hey, one of those stations is nearby. Should see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe. There must be some way to help Doc. I'll think of something. I was a reporter and a newspaper publisher, I printed the truth. And now as a broadcaster, I speak. Sometimes it hurts. But it's my responsibility to bring it to you. And the truth is, the city is not quiet, it is not peaceful. It is a disaster waiting to happen. Threats roiling under the surface, like a hungry shark just beneath the waterline. Don't let Spider-Man fool you. You are not safe. None of us are. I'm usually web swinging.
Damn it! Why do I keep repeating the same mistake over and over? Norman Osborne cannot be trusted. In matters large and small, if Norman has the chance to profit off another man's loss, he'll take it. It's infuriating. Someday I'll turn. Damn it! Why do I keep repeating the same mistake over and over? Norman Osborne cannot be trusted. In matters large and small, if Norman has the chance to profit off another man's loss, he'll take it. It's infuriating. Someday I'll turn the tables. I'll teach Norman what it is to feel helpless and small. Doc must have more history with Norman than he shared. Peter. Oh, Peter. Don't even know why I'm bothering to record this. Norman has neutered us, and soon the lab will be out of funds. We were on the verge of such great things. If we had just a bit more time and money, I know all the ideas in our heads would have come pouring... Wait. Ideas in our heads? My god, Peter, that's it! Running tests on carbon nanotube biocompatibility.
decent candidate for a direct tissue interface, but I feel like we can do better. 